So inspiration can come from a lot of different things, okay? It could be from seeing somebody doing something that you find very, very cool, like maybe street dancing. I mean, that's that's pretty cool, okay? I'm not gonna lie, it makes me want to street dance whenever I see somebody street dance. And I know that if I was to get on the ground and try to do something like that, I would look like a beached whale. Now, these inspirations that we have, they can also come from things like our cell phones, right? Whenever we see inspiration, let's just say on TikTok, whether it's, you know, or Reels, Instagram Reels, where we're watching these videos where people are doing these crazy parkour things, and we're getting super inspired, and we want to try these different things. You're like, oh my god, I can't wait to go out and try this different crazy move. But then you're like, go out, and you're like looking at it, and you're like, okay, I need to watch beginner stuff, because all of a sudden now my inspiration is kind of dying down, and I know that I can't do this crazy stuff that I'm seeing on my phone. And same thing goes with other, you know, business avenues, whether it's like, oh, okay, well, now I can make money maybe trying drop shipping. This is like, I'm so inspired to try this. Or, oh, maybe I should start door dashing or something because, oh, I, I just watched a video. This guy made a whole bunch of money within 24 hours of door dashing. And you're feeling inspired by all these different kind of YouTube content creators and just Instagram reels and TikToks that really just get your blood pumping. The thing is, is all this different inspiration that we're pulling, whether it be from human beings that we're actually seeing in real life, or we're seeing stuff on our phones, uh, and we're just watching different kinds of content that inspire us. All of this different kind of inspiration that we gather from the outside world and technology, what it creates is actually a distraction. Now, it might sound weird to say that all of this inspiration is really just one big distraction, but truthfully, it is. Because let's just say that deep down, you've been wanting to learn guitar and you've been practicing guitar for like a year. But you have all these different other avenues and all these different other inspirations that you're trying to also go down at the same time. You can't spread yourself super, super wide and try all of them and do with them all with a perfect efficiency. The thing is, is whenever you try to do all these different kind of things all at once, you end up getting a little bit scattered and you don't really accomplish anything. You might find one thing that you actually really, really enjoy and maybe you actually have a natural knack for. And, you know, typically that is the point in which you kind of just drop everything else and you go all in on that particular thing. Now, for me, this is making YouTube videos, particularly in the self-improvement space, okay? I've tried to do gaming, I've tried to do podcasts, I've tried to do group channels. I've literally done pretty much so many different things YouTube related, and you know, this is the avenue that I wanted to take it. And the thing is, is you could look at like a whole bunch of other things, and uh, you could use like fitness as one giant like whole, you know, do you want to be a runner? Do you want to be a power lifter? Do you want to be a calisthenic boy doing some crazy stretchy boy stuff you know do you want to be in yoga and be able to do crazy poses I mean there's so many different avenues that you can take and yes of course taking you know a whole wide variety of this kind of stuff and trying to be you know the jack of all trades may sound appealing and it also sounds like you're really taking inspiration in and you're doing a whole bunch but at the same time you're just allowing yourself to be distracted by everything else and not focus on what your true purpose is. For example, if I was to make self-improvement YouTube videos and every other video upload a gaming video and then all of a sudden upload a how to cook this video or oh, let's talk about my wardrobe this day and none of this ha none of this had to do with the fact that I was a self-improvement YouTube channel. It was just every other day you got some random piece of content. There's a good chance that this inconsistency probably wouldn't appeal to most people. Unless you genuinely liked me as a person, you probably wouldn't care to watch that kind of content. But because I make self-improvement content, if you like self-improvement and you like to hear about it, there's a good chance that you want to watch this kind of content and you would like this video and you would want to see more. I'm not telling you to subscribe or anything, but it does sound like that. <laughs> I guess what I'm really trying to say here is, we end up, as people, getting inspired by so many different things. I've wanted to do parkour since I was like 14, okay? And it was one of those off and on things where I was doing it, not doing it, doing it, not doing it. Same with skating and same with just, I mean, gaming and stuff like that. You know, that's why I wanted to be a streamer at one point. I wanted to make gaming videos. Yes! Yes! Luckily, I wanted to take, I guess you could say, these different 
avenues and paths towards some kind of creative process that in my head would eventually make me money or it would be some kind of, you know, hobby job thing that I would enjoy. Trying to do all these different kind of things, yes, maybe they're great and maybe it's good to try new things. You know, I've tried guitar, I've tried drums, I've tried a lot of different things and I've even made music and stuff actually. And the thing is, I've realized that a lot of these inspirations, a lot of these things that I get and I take from other people are only actually distracting me. I can really only focus on my purpose if I'm actually working on my purpose and if I'm focusing on that particular thing. Like if I'm focusing on YouTube stuff, then I will probably make YouTube videos. But if I'm only watching parkour content at all times, and that's the only thing I ever consume, that's the only thing I ever focus on, I'm not going to want to make YouTube content. I'm probably just going to want to do parkour all day. And that is what these inspirations that we that we see and it inspires us to give it a shot. You know, I see PewDiePie climbing like rock climbing and stuff. And I'm like, oh, my God, I could totally rock climb. That'd be so cool. I can't wait to try that. No, honestly, I know that it would take a lot of time. And it's something that, yes, would be cool to try, but it distracts me from what I'm doing here. It distracts me from, I mean, I guess it's got a fitness aspect to it. It probably wouldn't be the worst thing, but it consumes a lot of time. At the end of the day, you really have to think about the time that you're going to commit to the things that you truly have a passion for and the things that you actually want to work on and become successful in. Because having these mini successes and all of these different categories are not going to truly lead you anywhere. And that's the unfortunate truth that I've dealt with and felt and it's honestly it's a great feeling but it's also not a great feeling yes maybe i have the urges to parkour and i do sometimes want to skate the thing is is i realize now that this is my purpose okay is making youtube content and yes i do actually have to dabble out and try some new things every once in a while and yes there's nothing wrong with that but as long as i'm staying on my purpose as long as i'm working out and i'm bringing you some good quality content some good ideas and also being able to you know take what I you know what's happening in the real world and be able to you know bring it to you in a way that would help you and benefit your life then I'm on my purpose as long as this is the kind of content that I'm making as long as this is the things that I'm striving to do then I'm on it it's really being able to find your own and being able to figure out what is it that you want to do truly deep down I mean is it actually being for example a guitarist for a band if that's the case you're gonna have to get over stage fright you're gonna have to get over being in front of people and you know not being so introverted and you know and yes you could be an introvert and play guitar but at the same time you have to have confidence on stage to play a guitar and you would be like oh I don't want to really like, I don't want to go that far with it then then you probably don't want to play guitar And that's the crazy part is, you know, digging in deep about all these different things and like thinking about where you want to take things. And, you know, whenever I think about the channel, sometimes my possibilities and my ideas are pretty far and they're endless. Okay, they go pretty deep and I write them down because those are ideas that I can make for content or just future ideas that I just don't really want to lose. So I hope this helps you find your purpose a little bit. And I hope that whenever you end up watching videos you watch content that inspires you really consider if trying that new thing is really going to actually help you or if it's going to divert you from your purpose okay because there is so many distractions out there that are disguised as inspirations and it's really really easy to get sucked into those So thank you so much for watching this video. If you did feel like this video was helpful, then be sure to like and subscribe. I really do hope that it helped you and it kind of gave you some insight as to how inspiration can be a distraction and how you can pretty much kind of come out stronger and be able to push things away that you may see as inspiration but are truly disguised as distractions. So thank you so much for watching this and check out this next video that is about anxiety, okay? I recently had, uh, it was kind of a 
big issue actually and uh, I wanted to discuss this and I needed to really get it out there and this is how I learned from it okay and this is the steps that I would take if I was to go through it again so I would check out this video if you have any kind of anxiety and you're having any kind of problems check this video out and as always find the fire within you and stay Diablo and stay inspired but on your purpose